Why do men think that them doing just the bare minimum or not even or just having their presence around the kids is as if they're doing a huge favor on us mothers? This woman said that her husband has been at home for three days and now he helped or he, started, he told her that he now have helps you to take care of the children now and she's like, they are also your kids as well. My question is, why do men feel like when they do something house chores or they take care of the children, they do normal things that women do every day for free. They always want that glory. They always want to be exalted. Why is it always like that? And is it that it's only when a man provides, when he goes out to make money or he goes out to provide, he doesn't have any, he should not have anything to do with our chores again. I'm asking that question because of a video I posted a couple days ago a man that walked inside his house into his messy house and he was complaining telling his wife that you're so dirty look at how unclean the house is and he was calling his wife names your liability can't believe you can do this the kitchen was messed up the house was messed up of course and in the comment section i saw some comments from people and they were saying that as well since it's not 50 50 you don't want to go 50 50 you're staying at home. The man has gone out to provide. So why can't you, as a woman, clean the house, make the house clean? What if he's coming in with a friend? Like a lot of comments and the peop and some people were like, so far the man is going out to work, he should come home to a clean house. Yo, what's going on? If a man is working, does it mean that he shouldn't leave a pin in his house? Does it mean that he should not even carry his children and play with them? Does it mean that he should not even look out, be a good father to his kids or even clean up after himself because he's going out to hustle and make money for the family? What is your take? Let me know this clip for you all to watch to the end and I'll be back to share my thoughts at the end of the video. Why do men think that them doing just the bare minimum or not even or just having their presence around the kids is as if they're doing a huge favor on us mothers? So my husband has been home for the past three days now, not because he deliberately took three days off to be around the house and help me, but because he just doesn't have jobs lined up and he runs his own business. And yesterday he made a comment saying, shouldn't you be grateful that at least I'm around to help around with the kids? Just to give context about the comment, a couple hours before he made that comment, I was literally sitting at the dinner table eating my dinner all alone and I bawled my eyes out because the postpartum had finally hit me. I felt so, so isolated and I feel like it hit me more mentally than it did physically because again, for the third time in a row, I do not have the support that I need in my postpartum period. And so when he made that comment, my reply to him was, why should I be grateful? You know, they're your kids as much as they're mine. It's not just my responsibility to take care of them. It's as much as your responsibility to be there and take care of them like I am taking care of them. Mind you, when he's around, he's just literally sitting there and holding the kids when needed. I had to take a quick nursing break, but had that been me in the past 10 years, I probably would have heard the comment coming from him and sat there and cried about it. But yesterday when I heard that coming from him, I literally just spoke up for myself because if I don't speak up for myself and take care of my own mental health, no one will. And literally after even seeing me cry, you know, while having my dinner alone, he couldn't be bothered to even ask or talk about my postpartum period or postpartum mental health, but rather make comments like that. From the get-go, the entire load of motherhood has only been on me in our relationship and honestly, I can't take it anymore. It's about time they step up as fathers and realize their responsibilities and fulfill them like they should be fulfilling them. I am going to tag Paige in this video because she talks a lot about equity in marriage and I honestly love her page. If you haven't checked it out, please check her out and I would love to hear her take on this. They always want glory. They always want to be praised for just bare minimum, for just doing something that you are, you are supposed to do as a human being. They just want to be praised and exalted. They just like it. They just like it. <laughs> So the thing is that somebody asked in that comment section, like, but the man is providing, just as I asked earlier, the man is providing, he's providing for you and you're staying at home with three children. He helped you. You should be grateful. Let me roll a response for you all to watch. Then I'll be back. Even if he is providing 100% for his family, you know, for his wife and kids, 
first of all, that's his responsibility in the first place. Second of all, that does not excuse him from coming home and helping his wife out with the domestic labor, with the mental load of motherhood, because taking care of kids and bringing them up is his responsibility as much as it is the mother's. So I don't get what's wrong with the mentality of men working outside and then also coming home and helping their wives out because... Let's be honest, we are living in a world where a lot of women are working as well, you know? And nobody asks a woman when she is working that how are you going to manage the kids at home, you know? How are you going to cook? How are you going to do the laundry? How are you keep the house clean? But it's just a default that it's a wife's duty or a mother's duty to take care of all of those things even though she's working full time. But when a man is working outside and providing for his family, he is excused from all the domestic labor and all the mental load of motherhood. How is that fair? I personally, I don't get it when people just feel like, okay, this man is going out to work, right? When he comes home, he should not even lift a pin. I don't understand where that is coming from. Because you're a man, you go out to provide you go to work to make money. So you want to come back home and you don't even want to do anything for yourself. You don't even want to do anything in the house. You don't even want to carry the children or when you even take and carry one of the child, you are already, you want me to worship you because you, hey, thank you, my husband, or oh, you have done something so great. Have you all forgotten that a mother's job does not have hand, that she works from morning to night, even midnight, she's working just, and she doesn't even get paid for it. And we mothers don't even get glorified enough. In fact, I just feel like housewife duty, taking care of the kids and all of that is more like a slavery work that you don't even get much appreciated for it. People don't even see it that you're doing something important or something, you know, they just see it as <clears throat> it's the normal thing for a woman to do. You're supposed to do this, you're supposed to do that, 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 that. They don't they just just they don't appreciate mothers enough they don't appreciate their wives enough so i just feel like the way these men just as always want to be appreciated when they do that tiny thing that women are doing so much every single day it's so annoying and what is it that when you go out there to provide you don't want to come home and do anything does that even make sense at all aside from this woman that she knows she has been with her husband for a long time and she knows that <clears throat> she is she doesn't get support for postpartum which that came to my mind as well but then i saw somebody asked in the comment section and she replied the video the comment the question the person asked was you know this man does not support you when you're in your postpartum the first child did not support you you born another second child the second child did not support you are on another third child uh -uh. Do, are you wise so let us let us play our response let us listen to what she has to say then I'll be back to share my thoughts at the end of the video. Why have more kids if I do not have the postpartum support? To be honest for myself, I come from a family where it's just me and my younger sister. And I have always wanted a big family for myself. You know, a lot of kids, a lot of siblings where they grow up and they have each other's back, inshallah. So I know that this postpartum period, I do not have the care and support that I do need. But what I do know is when I look back at all these hard years, the hard work that I'm putting in, it'll all be worth it in the end. At the same time, I feel like as women, we should be able to openly share our challenges, our difficulties, our troubles during this postpartum period with other mothers out there. So we know that we are not alone and we're in this together. And honestly, this is also a concern because of which a lot of women hold back from having kids you know the uncertainty of the postpartum period really gets to them and they do not want to jump into having kids for this reason but let me tell you it is very very challenging yes um you do need a support system but even if you don't have that support system when you look back at all these years of hard work as your kids grow up and you're building that special bond and relationship with them it'll all be worth it in the end well, in this life, you cannot force people to do what they want to do. Everybody is entitled to what they want to do. And you can make your decision yourself. If you want to have 10 children, 20 children, it's your body, it's your, you know, you are the one going through the life and death. You are the one even facing it at the end of the day. But then I personally don't feel like it is wise for a woman. You have, you're in a relationship, you're married with a man, and you had that first child with him. And you saw the way he treated you. 
You saw the way he's treating you. And you still went ahead to have this second. Maybe, okay, maybe he's still new in this father situation. Let me try again and see if he's going to change. If he's going. You try again the second one. What make you try again the third one? What are you trying to achieve? He has shown you who he is. I just feel like you're just hurting yourself so much because you want to make your dream come true, which is have a huge family or have a big family. Sometimes not all dreams come true. Sometimes you just see those things and be like, I wish I can do this, but the kind of partner I have. Because you are just hurting yourself mentally. Imagine now you broke down and he doesn't even care. He doesn't even care. That alone is even... So I know I'm, I'm actually happy that she came out to talk about it. At least it shows that she's already like, she doesn't even have his time anymore for us to come out to come and share this story. What is your take on this conversation today? Talking about two different things. <clears throat> does it mean that when a man provide, he does not have to lift a finger? For those of you that made that comment in that video, what do you mean that when a man is providing, he should not lift a pin in the house. He should not even do anything. He's not entitled to, to cook. You are a man. You are not entitled to, to cook food that you are going to eat as an adult. You should not cook because you are providing. And when we talk about this provision, what are they even providing? Because I know, I know at the end of the day, they're not even providing enough money for the woman to be able to live the kind of life she wants to live. She's still managing because when she tells the husband i want to buy this i want they don't have the money i don't have money i don't have i don't have they never have but they go out there and act like they are providing so most of the time even these women they try to make small change for themselves while they still do these house chores while they still take care of these children you see working mothers mothers that actually go to work come back home and still take care of these children still attend to the kids they don't get extra praised these women don't get extra praise. They see it as, uh -huh, you are uh -huh, uh -huh, you're supposed to do it. But when a man do it, goes to work and come back and just carry, lifts a child up like, hey, he's a good father. What happens to the woman that does this every day and don't get pra praised? And when they say that they're providing, my own is that most of them don't provide enough. Because if you're really providing enough, you provide so much help for your wife that it will relieve her from stress. But most of them cannot even provide enough. They don't even give their wife enough money, enough cash, enough things for, for her to even be happy. Okay, because when a woman is happy, of course, she, <laughs> she might want to do so many things and she doesn't even care what you're, whatever you're doing. Most of them don't provide enough. Okay, that's aside. So me, I will say that you can't tell me because you're providing, you're going out to work and you won't come home and do something. No, you have to. You're an adult. It's your home. They are your children. You have to do something about it. And talking about the <clears throat> giving birth or continuing to give birth when you know that your partner does not support you in your postpartum, it's not even, it doesn't even help, in the, help you to do anything at home and you still continue to give i just feel like it's unwise for women to do that i just feel like you're actually shooting yourself in the leg at the, at the end of the day you regret it and the, the marriage might not even be enjoyable anymore at the end of the day you might want to leave the marriage and whatever you're trying to avoid or the big family you have already pictured in your head it will not happen again because I, then you talk to yourself like okay i actually saw this already well why was i deceiving myself as if you are, tr you are trying to tell yourself mm -mm, this is not what is happening you're just lying to yourself. That's what I just feel you're doing as a woman. If you know that your partner is not a good person, he's not a good partner, he's not a good father, but you keep giving uh, giving birth just because you want to prove that you want to have a big family or you want to, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> what is your take in this today's conversation? Let me know your thoughts about the video down in the comment section. It's your favorite girl again, Maria Davis. And don't forget to like and share and subscribe. And turn on the post notification bell so you get notified once I upload another interesting video like this one. And of course, I'll see you in my next video. <laughs> Bye.